What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Church, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Well, God bless you and good morning, good morning, good morning, Sister Banks, good morning, DJ Forgiven, good morning, Sister Dorset, good morning, Sister Pinckney, God bless you, Sister Turner, good morning, anointed to praise, good morning, Jewel, good morning, good morning, Reese Cup, God bless you, good morning, Sister Polk and Deacon Polk, God bless you, good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Briscoe. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Tiana. God bless you. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron and your entire family. Good morning, Minister and Mother Morris. God bless you. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you, sir. Good morning, Brother Comfort. God bless you. And Sister Comfort, good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, your family, and all the saints in Trinidad, Tobago. Good morning, Mother Fears. God bless you and Pastor Fears and the Greater Ecclesia Church of the Poconos. Good morning. Good morning, Elder and Sister Adams. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Linda. God bless you. Good morning, Sylvia. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry and the family. We're holding you in prayer. Good morning, Sister Cheek. God bless you and your family. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Walker. Good morning, Francine. God bless you and your family. Thank God for you. Good morning. Good morning, Mother Wright. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Rosalind. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Chambliss. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Monique. God bless you. Good morning, Bishop Alde, Lady Alde, your family, and all the wonderful saints of the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Bobin. God bless you. Good morning, Minister and Sister Dawes. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Missionary Leah. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Street. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Robinson. God bless you. Good morning, good morning, God bless you, God bless you, Mother Riley, God bless you, Sister Gordon, good morning, Missionary Davis, God bless you, and Deacon Davis and your family, good morning, Minister Scott, well, good morning, and praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis, and as always, it's an honor, it's a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer, for more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know, and we continue to witness and and see the manifestation of God through prayer. God working in the lives of people, God strengthening, God blessing, God touching, hallelujah, God just moving in people's lives. And I'm just grateful today that I know that God is indeed able. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it right there in the chat or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And to everybody, 
that is on the conference call, everybody on YouTube, or anybody can text in your prayer request to 336-567-5358. Again, the number is 336-567-5358. You can text in your prayer request. We're praying over them. We're believing God with you, and we are trusting that God is going to work miracle signs and wonders in your life. Let's return back to the 100. And 36 Psalm, Psalm 136, and we want to continue and we want to read verses 10 through 15. Psalm 136, verses 10 through 15. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever. With a strong hand and with a, out, with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endureth forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. For his mercy endureth forever. I want to use forethought. For his mercy endureth forever. And this is part two of that thought concerning the mercy of God. God's mercy translates into action. Whatever God does, it is a reflection of his mercy, his grace, and his love is translated into action. God does something because he is merciful. God moves in some form or fashion because he is merciful. And it's significant because, as I said yesterday, and I'm probably going to say again as we continue in this psalm, Mercy is unique because none of us deserves it. If people tell you that because I did this, I obtained the mercy of God. Um, if it's anything other than repent, um, it's not factual. Because mercy does not involve the instrumentation or the mechanization of people. Mercy is the acknowledgement that I do not deserve whatever God does for me, whatever God gives me, whatever God provides for me. I understand that I'm a recipient because of the mercy of God. You know, um, it, it, yes, people should do and people should work and people should make good choices, but those things alone do not merit the mercy of God. They don't merit God's mercy. They don't create God's mercy. Because if, if that created God's mercy, it would imply that um, somehow you can earn mercy. Somehow you can work for mercy. Somehow if you do the right things, you'll obtain mercy. And that's not biblically accurate. Mercy is completely about the fact that is undeserved, yet God shows it, God expresses it, God does it, God makes it happen solely because of his mercy and his grace. That's why we have this um, uh, motif throughout this entire psalm, for his mercy endureth forever. That's not just because the writer didn't have anything else to write, it's because he wants to emphasize over and over again that everything God does is an act of his mercy. You know, a lot of times we look at people who are in ministry or people who operate in the church or people who do X, Y, or Z or have talents or giftings as if somehow they did it. But guess what? If they're doing anything, they're doing it because of what? The mercy of God. They're doing it because of the mercy of God. They're doing it because of the grace of God. You know, the word cherish which from which we get charismatic gifts, all right, cherish, is the same root as the word grace. So the gifts of God, 
prophecy, the apostleship, evangelism, hallelujah, teaching, pastoring, um, the, the gifts of healing, the gifts of wisdom, words of knowledge, hallelujah, miracles, signs, wonders, all of that is tied to what grace and grace is tied to mercy and mercy is tied to love that these are God's acts of love towards the people that he has selected and chosen. And so all you can do is say, thank you. <laughs> oh God, all you can do, all I can do, all any of us can do is say, thank you. This particular section of the Psalm focuses in on God's deliverance. God delivers us because he is merciful to us. God delivers because he is merciful to us. And so he says to him that smote Egypt in their firstborn. And, 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 you know, I know if, if, since if those of you have been with us throughout the book of Psalms, so much attention is given and so many songs are written about Israel's initial deliverance. The fact that God brought them out of Egypt and, and you would sometimes um, say, well, isn't this redundant that we keep writing songs about this, but there are things that have happened in your life that I don't care how long ago it was. Every time you think about it, it creates a sense of uh, hallelujah, awe in you. It creates a sense of gratitude. There are things that happened to me years ago, happened to me in my childhood, happened to me as a young man that I still remember and I still celebrate now. You know, the Lord healed me, hallelujah, some 40 plus years ago from a kidney condition that the doctor said I would have the rest of my life. I would have it the rest of my life. It would keep me from growing into normal manhood. I was about 10 or 11 years old old when it happened that I would probably not have be able to uh, produce any children or anything like that. But the Lord healed me. The Lord healed me. He healed my body. I have two beautiful children. God bless me to grow. Hallelujah. Into manhood. All of this is the healing virtue of God. And every time I think about it, I still celebrate because the Lord was good. There are so many other things I could testify all morning about the things that the Lord has done. But every time I think about them, and some people might get tired of my testimony, but every time I share it, I share it because the Lord has been good. And this deliverance from Egypt, God delivering one nation out of another nation is a reflection of God's mercy upon, hallelujah, Israel. He promised Abraham he would bring them out. He promised Abraham they would have their own land. And when they, were, when they found themselves in Egypt, trapped by Pharaoh, oh God, deceived by Pharaoh, made slaves by Pharaoh. God did not forget to have mercy, but he had mercy on them. Hallelujah. And he smote Egypt in their firstborn. We know the story. All the firstborn of Egypt from the house of Pharaoh to the house of Pharaoh's servants died because they were not covered by the blood. Israel was spared by what? The mercy of God. Israel was spared by the mercy because they took the blood and put it on the doorpost, put it on the upper lintel. And the Lord said, when I see the blood, I will pass over thee. That's significant because Israel was not spared because they were good. Let me say it again. Israel was not spared because they were good. They were spared because they were covered by the blood. The only reason why you're alive, the only reason why you have survived, you did some of the same things that you know people did that died, but God had you covered by the blood of Jesus. Somebody prayed for you, your mama, your daddy, somebody that loved you said, Lord, cover them with your blood. Don't allow them to be destroyed by their father folly and their mischief and God spared you. Why? For his mercy. Hallelujah. Endure forever. And he brought out Israel from among them. He brought Israel out as a nation. Why? For his mercy endure forever with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm. That means God 
deliberately got involved in what was happening among Israel. God got involved in your life. God got involved in my life. He stretched out his hand. Hallelujah. He stretched out his hand. He stretched out his mighty arm. Why? For his mercy, for his mercy, for his mercy endure forever. God's mercy manifested. God's mercy manifested. And we know the story. They come to the Red Sea. And this is important because one time when I was facing some very challenging situations, I was just seeking answers from God. And God took me to the 13th and 14th chapter of the book of Exodus. And God, and and if you read the chapter, it says God led them to the Red Sea. Sometimes God leads us into challenging situations because he has an ultimate plan of deliverance. I know we don't see it. I know we don't understand it. Sometimes it looks like we're going from bad to worse, but it is God working to bring you to a challenging place so that he can deliver you. The Lord led them. And why would God lead them to a body of water without a dock, without ships, without boats? Why would God lead them to the Red Sea when they're trapped by the mountains? They're trapped by, hallelujah, Egypt pursuing them. Why would God do that except God intended to make a way? And I came to tell somebody that what looks like a trap for you is God about to make a way in your life. What looks like you surrounded on all sides. What looks like the enemy boxing you in and closing you in It just means God is going to make a way for your life. God's going to open a door. God's going to bring down a high place. God's going to make something crooked straight. God's going to, hallelujah, close something so that he can deliver you. Why? For his mercy. Hallelujah. His mercy endure forever. And to him which divided the Red Sea into parts, a sea just flows The waves flow from one shore to the other shore. The waves just flow. But in this instance, the Bible says God divided the water. You need to go back and read the entire chapter about, hallelujah, Israel's deliverance in the Red Sea. It's fascinating because God did it incrementally to show his ability. He divided the waters, but they didn't just go marching through on dry land. The Bible says during the night, hallelujah, he dried up the mud. So they, they walked on dry land because if you just move water, oh God, if you, if water just recedes from, 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 from where it's sitting, it's going to leave mud. Hallelujah. And they're going to have to drive those carts and all of those things in the mud. But God sent the angels and they dried up the sand underneath. Hallelujah. The water, the Red Sea. So they were able to walk through on dry land and they brought a million people across on dry land. Egypt saw them going in. We know the story. Egypt saw them going in and they said, well, if they can do it, we can do it as well. Hallelujah. They tried to warn Pharaoh, don't go in there. Hallelujah. Their God is too powerful for us, but he wouldn't listen. And he went there in that water. And then the Bible says, while they were in, while the Egypt rather was in the midst of the Red Sea, that the the angels began to attack the chariot wheels. So they could not move and they got stuck. Remember Israel walked through and what Hallelujah. The Lord has used to deliver you. He will use to destroy your enemy. They got stuck in the midst of the, hallelujah, the sand and the dirt and the mud. They got stuck. And then the Lord allowed the waters to just fall back on Egypt and they died in the Red Sea. He divided it. He made Israel to pass through the midst of it. He overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. Why? For his mercy endure forever. I'm talking to somebody who the Lord is making a way in your life. God is delivering you. God is opening doors. God is creating, hallelujah, greatness for you. Why? For his mercy. Don't ever lose sight of the reality that the reason why you're delivered, the reason why you're saved, the reason why you're healed, the reason why you're prospering, the reason why you're blessed is because his mercy endureth forever. Saints, I'm thanking God this morning for deliverance. 
deliverance. Hallelujah. God making a way in my life. God making a way in your life. And you need to trust him because yes, the Lord is delivering for his mercy. For his mercy endureth forever. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for his word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you for grace, for mercy, for love, for kindness. Lord, you have been so good. You have been so gracious. And Lord, you have literally been better to me than I could have ever been to myself. You gave us rest last night and we awakened this morning in our right minds, able to get out of the bed, able to get prepared to join this great cadre of believers, God from all over the world. Lord, I thank you because you're so very, very good. Lord, I love you because you are so very, very good. And God, I just want to thank you for another moment to pray another moment to talk to you. And I thank you for everybody that has joined us today on this prayer line. Thank you, God. Hey, Thank you, God. Oh, God, whether we've come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or conference call, Lord, you have brought us together. And for that, we are thankful. And Lord, I just want you to minister to every need that is on this line today. Every situation, every condition, every problem, everything, God. Lord, step in with your mighty hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God, we trust you now. Hey, I'm Asataye. We trust you now to minister to every need and every necessity. Lord, we're praying for everybody that's on this line today. God, we lift up Bishop and Mother Joseph. We pray for Bishop and Lady Alde. We pray for Bishop and Mother Wright. We pray for Bishop and Lady Wilkins, Bishop Clifton Staten. We pray for Bishop and Mother Darby, Bishop Sylvester Reed, Bishop and Mother Smith, Bishop and Lady Davenport, Bishop and Lady Cousins today. We're praying for Apostle and Lady Keith this morning, Apostle and Lady Parsons, Apostle Michael Fields. We're praying for Apostle and Lady Barry today, Apostle and Lady May. We're praying for Apostle and Mother Clark this morning. We're praying today for Mary. Miracle. We're praying, my God, for Minister and Sister Triplett. We're praying for Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. We're praying for Irvin Johnson. Lord, stretch out your strong arm of deliverance. We're praying, my God, for Mother Pittman. And we're praying for Sheila Reed today. We're praying for Stacy and Trayvon. We're praying for the children of the saints. My God, they stand in need of deliverance. Lord, stretch out your mighty hand. We're praying, my God, that you remember Sister Seneca Austin, Sister Hallelujah, Lisa. The kitchen. We're praying for the Edwards family. We're praying for Buddy Winston, for Shardell Will Willis today. We're praying for the Willis family. We're praying for Dexter today. We're praying, my God, for Jonah Poole. We're praying for Marie, my God, and her family this morning. We're praying for Shirley Boyd. We're praying for Blanche Washington, for Latasia Davis. We're praying for the Bradley family. We're praying for Dee Dee and Diamond and Tyree and Breon and Lee Bradley. We're praying for Maurice Barnes and Mikkel Davis and Nakisha Harris for Tiana Sotomer. We're praying, my God, for Elijah Pratt, Lord. We're praying today that you remember Mary Keelan today. Remember, oh God, Terry Jackson Walker today. Remember, my God, Cornelia. Remember, my God, the Jones family, the Carruthers family, the Watson family, the Williams family, the Scott family, the Wells family. Remember Sister Wiggins and Brother Wiggins today. Remember Tiana. Remember Francine Lee. Remember Catrice. Remember Travis and family. God, every Every name on this prayer list today, every name sent by text or messenger or email, every name in the chat, God, we are speaking life and deliverance, God, because your mercy, my God, endure forever. Lord, stretch out your hand and save, 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 my God, to the utmost, save, my God, hallelujah, that soul that is closest to hell, my God, destroy yokes, oh God, turn things around, let them repent, let them be born of the water, and 
and of the spirit and God saved. Remember the backsliders today. Oh God, the, remember them right now. They've drifted, they've strayed. But Lord, you said you're the shepherd. Oh God, that pursues the sheep. Don't let them be lost, my God, but bring them back into the fold in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, remember the broken, the burden. Remember, my God, those that are depressed. Remember those that are discouraged. And God, send mighty deliverance, revival and refreshing upon them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we're praying today for the sick, Lord. Sick people everywhere. Sick people all over. But God, we trust you now to be the healer. We pray, my God, for Sister Jackie Poole. We pray, my God, for Sister Deborah Smith, for Deacon Jimmy Tucker today, for Pastor Kevin Kinchin, for Sister Gertrude Austin, for Mother Reavers, for Mother Blunt today, for Mother Johnson. We pray for Sister Beth Chisholm today. We're praying for Cynthia Jackson Perry. God, send your healing virtue. We're praying for Miss Pauline, for Mabel, for Doris Williams. We're praying for Sister Paul. We're praying for John Baker, for Shirley's mother. We're praying, my God, for Horace Sellers today, for Aja, hallelujah, Hutchinson, for Brandon Adams, for Tamika Dillard, for Tim Manns, for Deacon Frank Watson, for Daria, for Renee, for Sister Beverly McNair, for God, for Sister Hodge today. We're praying for Alma, for Sarah, for Miss Hawkins, for LaShawn, for Miss Davenport, for Amy, for Camilla. My God, we're praying, my God, for Leona, for Troy. We're praying, Lord God, that you remember Sean and Kmar, that you remember Miracle, that you remember Margaret Spencer today, that you remember Margo, God, remember in the name of Jesus, Sylvia Hood, Andrew Morris today, Kayla, remember Shauna Jeter today, remember Sister Robinson, my God, Lord, we're praying for everybody that's sick everywhere, God, stretch out your hand of healing for Minister Perkins, for Daniel, for Xavier, for Deacon Adams today, for Deacon, hallelujah, and Mother Wilson, for Deacon and Sister Harrison, Lord, I'm praying today that you would remember my God, Brother Phil Solomon, Elder Elder Toll, Elder Dokes today. I'm praying for Mother Virgie DuBose. I'm praying, God, for healing right now in your precious name. Healing right now in your name, God. Remember them in a special way. God, remember my God. Hallelujah, Mother Mary Williams. Remember Mother Perry. Remember Mother Lloyd, Mother Meadows today. I pray for Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy, Missionary Marlene Roseman, Missionary Jessica. Jesse Brisbane, Missionary Hodges today. I pray for healing today for Sister Denise McLean. I pray, my God, that you remember Mother Elizabeth Wilson. I pray for healing right now. Oh, God, for Brother Carl, for Deacon James Grant, for Philip Grant today. I pray for Pastor and Lady Winston. I pray for Bishop and Mother D, Apostle, my God, and Lady Keith today. Lord, I pray, God, for healing right now. Oh, my God, for Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard. I pray for Mother Shirley Clark. Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today, Mother Carol Coleman, Sister Shakaya Polk, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for healing for Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop Brian Williams, Bishop William Jenkins, I pray for healing today in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, oh God, for Bishop Johnny Davis, I pray pray for Lady J, for Lady Kathy Forehand, Lady Williams this morning, Lady Barbara Vincent, Lady Deborah Carter, Lady Pamela Davenport, Mother Stokes today. I pray, my God, for Apostle Herbert Evers, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams. I pray for healing, oh God, for Apostle, hallelujah, oh God, Sylvester Norwood. I pray, my God, for Brother Wiggins, for Brother and Mother Sherrod. I pray for Mother Garland today, for Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother. I pray today that you Remember... In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Oh God, Mother Pride and Mother Jill. I pray, my God, for Elder and Mother Dugan. Elder, hallelujah, and Mother Murray. I pray, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus, Brother and Mother Chambers today, Mother Carter, Mother Moorhead. My God, Lady Staten, remember Minister Carr today. Remember Elder Tyson and Elder Smith. God, I pray today for healing right now for Mother Foster, Henry J., and Brother Cliff. God, remember Mother Tanaj, Mother Holman, Missionary. 
Mary Simmons. God, remember Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess. Remember my God, Marlette, Maurice. Remember Tony. Remember Dennis today. Remember Kimberly. Remember Chris, God. Remember my God, Cynthia. Remember Mother Jackson, Apostle Moultrie. God, look on people in hospitals today, nursing homes, rehab centers. God, even in hospice, you're the healer. So touch bodies and do what we know you're able to do. Continued healing and health, my God. For missionary Teresa Holt, my God, continue to touch God in the name of Jesus. God, I'm praying today that you remember in the name of Jesus those that are grieving. God, people grieving everywhere. People through the loss of loved ones. Hearts are broken. Hearts are heavy. But God, we trust you, Lord. We're praying today that you remember, my God, Mother Brian and her family. Bishop Davenport and his family. Sister Anita Brian and the family. God, remember, hallelujah, Janelle Rousen and family. Remember, my God, Minister Jamie Carr and his family. Remember the Wilson family today. Remember, my God, the Williams family. George Morning. Remember Charles Brody and family. Remember Hilda and the grandchildren. Remember the Carey family. Remember Bishop Daniel Spellman and family. The Clark family. Remember Rogera Simmons and family. Remember, my God, oh God, Sister Virgie Wright and family. Remember Deborah Graves and family. Rhonda Darlington. Rebecca Abraham. The Bruce, oh God, remember Bruce Rickenbacker. Remember Sister Sharon Johnson, oh God, and her family and Refuge Temple of Columbia. Remember Kim and the Drumwright family. Remember the Grooms family. Remember Lynette Johnson's family. Remember District Elder Clarence Johnson and his family. Pastor Chance, Dr. Robinson, Pastor Lindsay. Remember, my God, the Hubbard and Taylor families. Remember Kim Sermon and family, Callie Gardner and family, the Brown family, and the Greater Refuge Temple of Washington, D.C. Remember, my God, hallelujah, every grieving family everywhere. Remember Mother Walker and Mother Moya. Remember Jackie. Remember Jaleesa in the name of Jesus. Remember Phoenicia and Whitney. Remember Takesha. Remember Jerry today and their families. God, I pray today for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and the family. I pray, God, that you remember Dr. Carter and the family. Remember Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family. Remember the Quarles family today. Remember my God. Hallelujah, Mother Harrell and the family. Remember my God in your name. Hallelujah, Mother Grace in the family. Remember the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family, the Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. God, remember the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family. Remember in the name of Jesus. Hey, God, remember right now. Hallelujah, everyone. Remember the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters today. Remember my God, Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families. Remember the Ransom family. Remember the Jackson family, the Newkirk family. God, remember the Ned family, the Green family. Remember the Nunn family, the Umstead family. God, I pray today for Brenda and the Alan McNeely family. Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family. Trell and Ryan and the Alan Williams family. I pray today for Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. The Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdies, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family. God, remember the Winninghams today. Remember, my God, in your name, the Bankses. Remember the Ways. Remember the Middletons. Remember, my God, the Taylors. I pray for the Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannix, the Boojums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, the Phillips family, the Taylors, the Josephs. I pray for the Davises today, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors, the Austins, the Harbisons. Oh, God, the day. Oh, God, the Adams and the Austin family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one. God, we're praying for them now that you would touch, that you would strengthen, that you would deliver that you would free by the power of the Holy Ghost. God, do it now. Comfort and give peace, God. I pray for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. I pray for every bishop and elder, every first lady, all the pastor's children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. I pray for the young people of the church, God. I pray for musicians, singers, and psalmists. God, remember the church today. God, give deliverance. Oh, God, in mercy to the church. Some in bondage, some trapped in situations, but God, we know that you're a deliverer right now. So stretch out your arm of deliverance, God, and do it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember everybody in worship and let your glory just flow and flow and flow. Oh God, the power and the presence of the Lord. God, I'm praying today that you remember everybody. Hallelujah. That's working. God, remember first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs, remember school employees, 
employees and students everywhere. God, remember those that, oh God, are working. Cover them and keep them. Those that need jobs. God, oh God, provide and make a way for them now. God, remember, oh God, those that are on fixed incomes. God, make a way, make provision, make the ends meet today. Remember the homeless. Remember the hungry today. Remember everybody that stands in need in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, look on this troubled world. My God, this world is so troubled. My God, all over the globe. But Lord, you're the bomb in Gilead and you are the great physician. So heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from hatred, from jealousy, from violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your, hallelujah, church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you like never before. Help us, lead us, guide us. And as you do all of this, we give your name the glory, the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and give God glory right now. Everybody on this line, come on and give God glory right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This is my declaration for today. Thank you for your deliverance. Hallelujah. I just want to thank the Lord for deliverance. Hallelujah. Because I don't know where I would be if the Lord had not stepped in and delivered me. Hallelujah. Don't know how I would exist. Don't know how I would walk if the Lord had not delivered me. I am grateful. Hallelujah. I am grateful for God's deliverance today and thanking God for everything that he has done. Hallelujah. I appreciate him. I love him and I glorify his name. Thank God for deliverance today. Deliverance, deliverance today. God continues to deliver. God continues to make whole. God continues to make a way. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming and keep sharing the number. This is Sunday, so you can join us at 10 a.m. online for Sunday school, or you can be in Sunday school in the name of Jesus Christ. You can join us at 1130 for our morning worship from the Sanctuary Refuge Temple. God's given me a word to share and I want to share it hallelujah by the grace of God. So meet us there at 152 North Main Street. Hallelujah. In person or online and God is certainly going to bless you. You can also stay connected through our podcast Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud and Spotify. Look, I want to thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do and we thank God for them and we thank God most of all for you and if you desire to be a blessing you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church P.O. Box 3552 Burlington North Carolina 27215 that's P.O. Box 3552 Burlington North Carolina 27215 you can also give online our website is www.refugetemple, N is in North, C is in Carolina.com, refugetemplenc.com, and you can give on the donate page. You can also share through the Givelify app, just simply type Refuge Temple Church. Burlington, you'll see a picture of the church to know you're in the right place and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign, capital O-N-E, capital R-E-F-U-G-E, One Refuge, One Refuge, and you can make your gift there. And we thank you for your giving, but we thank you most of all for being connected, hallelujah, with morning prayer. And so many of you join us each day and we thank God for each of you. Keep coming, keep sharing the prayer with others so that they can be encouraged and just keep praying. And as you pray, please pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father. Pray for my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God will continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might keep us and sustain us in the will of God. The Lord deliver you. The Lord deliver you with his outstretched arm and his strong hand. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom. Shalom.